Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to some more Rogue Tech where today we are having a fresh start because there has been a game or say game say breaking updates. Um, Mech Riders, I believe it's I saw a name as. Which is cool because Battle Armor can now ride on mechs and in tanks. Although it's been around in a few previous updates. I think it's just got a bit of a patch, so it's uh, slightly better. There is a lot more that that um, I don't know about. There's also, um, what is it? You need neural implants for DNI and enhanced imaging and stuff like that for later on. So we need to keep an eye out for pilots with that. Hence why I've gone for six pilots per system. And the only thing I've changed is Met Commander starting experience is 7,000 as opposed to 3,500. But the next one, the most important one is what we are going for as our starting force. I'm thinking I want lambs. Lamb or Dusty Dan? I have no idea what that is. Solaris? That no. Don't you start on Solaris, and that just isn't a great place to start. Vitals? No. Or do we go with something completely random like Hell's Horses? Where I have no idea what I would get. No, I kind of want to... I want to go with Lambs. Let's see what Lambs are like early game. I've not played them, the, the smaller Lambs. I think I've had a 75 ton Lamb in a previous playthrough. Many, many, many playthroughs ago. And... Uh, what was the other one? I've had the 150 ton Hyperion, which is technically starting off as a lamb. I just never use it as a lamb. I'm pressing the start button. I think it's starting. It's just being very slow. So I will see you in a minute. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do, remember to hit that like button. If you like the series, remember to hit that subscribe button as well. And hit that like button. Leave a comment down below and do all the youtube -y things to help make my channel big and successful. Okay, and there's my character. It's a lovely bearded uh, Viking, I believe it is. It might not be from Vikings, but it is a Viking. And uh, we are Joker, because why not? We'll pull some pranks on people. Now the really important bit. Um, where do, what do we want to have as our starting thing? Pilots and tactics? Pilots and tactics wouldn't be too bad. Yes, because I'm going to build uh, uh, Jinx and Lucky. No, what do we want here? We want tech, Comstar, we, the extra tech points is brilliant. Uh, Brave and Assassin. It's lost tech and bookish. No, I think uh, tech. We're going to go with tech because that gives us one and a half tech points. So hopefully one of my other pilots has half a point of tech and we can get two out of it. And then uh, what do we want to have our starting freebies, basically? Uh, test subject. We get a neural implants and we get a random proto-mech. I'm thinking we go with that because that's the new thing that's on here, I believe. Oh, inheritor. Lucky and noble. Random rare mech. Okay. That could be a, like... I don't know if that could be a 100 ton mech or a 5 ton suit of armor. Might not be a suit of armor, but it could be a 20 ton rare mech. Don't want that. Uh, no, I want uh, test subjects. Yeah, we are definitely a test subject. And let's go with that. So let's have that, let's build that, and let's see what we get out of all of our goodies. So, I'll start in. Pilots. Let's start with the pilots. We got Bo Katan. He's a good pilot, I believe. Um, what have you got? You have neural implants. Ooh, I won. Mr. I'm Bubbles is a Ronin. Oh, it's um. Ah, oh, what do you call it? From Bioshock. Yes, Mr. Bubbles from Bioshock. Neural implants as well. Okay, we got some Order. neural implanted people. You are not a neural implanted person. I, I am you. definitely I'm a here. neural implanted person. 
Uh, you got command experience, plus one res lance resolve, plus one morale, and plus ten percent pilot upkeep. Commander. Hard case is Solaris Gladiator. Standing by. So you're a Solaris Gladiator with neural implants. What can I do for you? That's not too bad actually. So Comstar gives us 0.5 mech tech points. And 5% sensor and sights range, and then technician gets us 1 mech tech point and reduces the cost of upkeep and upkeep for med bay upgrades. Okay, so and then it's by 5% and then 10% pilot upkeep. That's fine, it doesn't matter for me because I am the commander. Let's see what else 7,000 experience can get us. I'm thinking gunnery, more tactics. And then I save the rest to work Mentor out training complete. what we're going to be piloting, basically. And also, don't, Check no, out wait, we, bay, Commander. we have great, more, right? just realised. Like We've got here. Wendigo, ex Comstar, Wealthy Reckless, and ex military, and y Yuki Ono, ex military assassin and technician. You may well be my headshot mech pilot Ready if I ever get that far. So let's take a look. We have some wasps and we have a couple of phoenix hawks and we have one marten. AMS flare and SRM. That's garbage. That really is garbage. No battle armors or anything like that. So let's see what we can do here. I mean, we could well be He's got defensive gyro. He's got a lamb engine. I can't upgrade the lamb engine, I believe, because it needs that for the flight systems. Okay, it's got very little armor and effectively an SRM 6 and one medium laser. And that's it. It's got some, obviously, some bombs. Arrow 4 high explosive bombs. Okay. And then. They are all different. They are all slightly different. Inferno bombs, an LRM-5, medium laser, another defensive gyro plus. Okay, it's... Yeah, it's got some weapon systems. <laughs> That's all I can say. Uh, fast cam bombs, nice. An LRM-10 and one medium laser. Okay. Now what about these guys? Hopefully we get a relatively big weapon. We get a medium laser, another M10, another medium laser, and then Vulcan bombs. So have a minimum range, short range, medium, long range, extreme range of 720, minimum range of 90. Okay, so we can't drop them right on top of us. Uh, they're very good against battle armor and vehicles. Plus four against those types. Ten shots fired by hardpoint weapon. 100 shots for wing mounted system. So there's ten rounds of shooting in there basically. It's got AMS in there as well. There's two of those. So that's three damage. Two damage directly done into internal damage and one stability damage dealt. Okay, so we could potentially knock things over. And then this guy is slightly different again. It's the HK1R as opposed to the other one being the HK2R. You don't have any bombs, but you do have three medium lasers on a snub nose PPC and then a defensive gyro double plus with a Beagle probe. So actually, when you come with Star League tech, Awesome. Don't think I can replace any of this structure or anything either. So these guys are all going to be running hot, basically. You're not Star League, no. You're standards, and you're running a standard cooling system. So that can be upgraded at least. Well, that eh, probably will be needed. Probably will be needed. Right. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do a upgrade here. All right, I'll get the team on it right away. So we can get the second mech bay 
started. Work on. Okay, so we might as well do the experience now. So it's going to be gunnery piloting for. No, it's going to be tactic. Uh, pretty much everyone is going to get to full gunnery and tactics during the end of the And that's about it. Unless they. Training confirmed, Commander. Can't, obviously. There we go. Mech warrior training complete. And I'm receiving Mr. you. Mr. Bubbles is four across the board. We also has pain shunts. Ooh, herald of gifts. Multi-target enabled. Plus one missile evasion ignore. Plus two missile in indirect missile accuracy, and plus thirty-five percent missile. Uh, sorry, pilot upkeep. Pain shunts. Pilot is a main immune to injuries from overheat, internal explosion, and DNI feedback. 25% pilot upkeep. Neural implants. Oh, Jesus. So, pilot has neural implants and can plot pilot mechs equipped with enhanced imaging and DNI cockpits and proto mechs. Oh. How many of my mechs count as proto mechs? If any, I don't think so. Hopefully none. Um, I hear you. I might as well. So, what am I? I have mech warrior, neural implants, and technician. So, I'm nothing special, basically. My character is nothing special. So, we are going to go with. Hmm, what are we going to go with? If I go with that, I can't get anything else. Increase missile. I don't know if I want either of them. I think I might. Just go there for now. Because I don't know what uh, mechs I'm piloting, basically. Ready for orders. And you're getting both of those. Training confirmed, Commander. This is putting my overall upkeep Commander. up. Commander. Ooh, you're terrible. Commander. Ah, these guys come with no experience. So, Ronins. Reporting. Why are you a red Ronin? Oh, he's a unique character. You only hire this Mercurial once. If you fire them, they are killed. They will not reappear in the hiring hall. Same as that one, okay. Right, anyway, let's uh, go to the store. Let's see what we can buy. You not much. A card of. Battle Armor Flamers. Where the hell are we? Because this is a clan. This is all clan stuff. That's an ER. Large laser clan, clan flamers, clan LRM fives and LRM twenties, clan XL engine, clan ECM, neural implants appointments. Oh, so you can give. This is not a real item. It will not appear in your inventory, but instead trigger some action. Add contracts, trigger events, etc. You, oh my god, you can buy neural implants for people. I'm gonna buy two of them. New equipment available. Okay, IATM and Clan LRM ammo. Okay. Anyway, I can't afford much because it's, um, <laughs> it's uh, very expensive. Now we have one random mech to come on day, on the first day. Oh, come on, speed up. I broke it. I broke it. And... Right. I mean, we're going to be getting clan tech straight off the board. No, that's a, oh, that's four clan Novacats. Let's go here. Is this one against... That is four. Sorry, that is against clan Novacat. Do I want to be facing clan straight away? Where the hell are we in terms of the Hello, map? Commander. The Argo may not be fully functional yet, we are in... but she's spaceworthy enough for our purposes. Well, we are in clan space near enough. 
We're on the border of clan space. Oh, interesting. I think I might want my extra mech then. So let's go forward one day. And... Really? I get an orc? That mech you wanted is back on It's a proto mech by Clan Hell's Horses. Um, let's nice take a look at it. Here in the hole. Now it's battle armor. No, it's not. It is battle armor. It has no structure. I don't get it. It's got no legs. And pretty much everything is built in. There's nothing here apparently. Destroyed. Okay. Light proto. Okay, so specialist stop. There's nothing up there. So we have plus one defense, plus one evasion, minus 20 armor. This is basically armor then. And then proto make controls, plus one accuracy with ranged weapons, minus one recoil with ranged weapons. Improved call shot by 20%. So initiative, plus two max evasion pips, plus one evasion pip gain from movement. And I get night vision. I don't know if I want to field that though. But I'll give it a go. What's the worst that can happen? We lose someone, someone dies, so be it. We're going to go going up against the clans straight away. We're going to go for a battle. What's this one? Destroy base? No, there's turrets involved in that one. Defend base? Hell no. Now we're going to go for a plain and simple battle. And. Oh, there's a vehicle slots. Ah, so. What have you got on you? Hard point, inferno bombs. You are the arrow, high explosive bombs. Hmm. Okay, so maybe we zip those and. Remote sensor dispenser, maybe we just drop you for an extra thing on the battlefield. Do we have a pure tank pilot? No. Who is going to go into its hard case? It's got a gladiator. Doesn't help him in a part and then in a thing. You will commander. I think you. You're going to go in there for now, Mr. Bubbles. Uh, Joker can go there. And I think I want, despite you not having, yeah, you, you haven't got much skills, but I want you skilled up. And not so much you, Popo, no, hard case. And I think Bo Katan is the next one. Yeah. So there's my five starting mechs. Let's see how well this goes. I have a feeling it's not going to go brilliantly. Because nothing is big, nothing is scary. I don't seem to have much in the way of weapon systems. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. Okay, so first mission about to begin. And, uh. Command interface. Ah, it's in the city. That's why it took so long to load up. Fair enough. That's fine. It's a bit laggy still. Come on. There we go, right. So... They are there. I can drop... 
Maybe I don't want to drop in the the. Yeah, we're just gonna go there. There is five dropping. I think they kind of double stacked. Uh, one landed on the roof. Whoopsie. So, where are our own enemies? Miss Links! Okay. And. Oh, I've forgotten the keys. There we go. Alt. Miss Links, Oscout, in Incubus, Oscout, and Stinger. Nothing scary, really. And you know what? I'm just going to stay here for a second. I'm going to let them move because they're not going to be able to shoot me with much, if anything, at all. But we do have some support, apparently. Alright. I probably want you to move. Just because they can probably see you. Let's go there. It's weird. Uh, maybe as I think BattleTech itself may have updated because all these animations was turned off, and now they're come back on. That's an urban mech with a cannon, big cannon. He didn't fall over, which is good. Yes, another thing that has been added is big AC-10 uh, ballistic weapons, or above AC-10, AC-20, including rucks. Don't think Gauss rifles, but I can't remember off the top of my head. Artillery pieces, anything big and scary like that has a chance of knocking you over, which sucks because I kind of like those, and now they're going to make me fall over. So... Enemy cinematics, melee cinematics, jump cinematics, all off. And yeah, save that. Cool. Let's not quit the game. That'd be rather silly. On you, Commander. Do I, do I, do I move? There's only one of them left. Let's move. It's still showing them moving, and I'm not even in lamp mode. I mean, there's 19% chance there. You know what? We're going to go for that. You betcha. It's the best hit chance we've got, so be it. Stand right. Uh, we're going to turn that on. And. Yeah, finish calculating. Okay, there we go. No, I'm going to go over this way so that not everyone can see us straight away. What? Uh, I'm not going to fire that just yet. I probably should have... If I'd have remembered what we were you firing, I would have fired that over to the other cluster of mechs. Oh, yeah. yeah, I want all the cinematics turned off because it makes the game quicker, makes the video quicker. But we'll get there. And who is the last one? It's this one, isn't it? Incubus. Ooh, that's a 75 damage from PPC. I'm taking a pounding, Commander. PPC with a heat, I would imagine. That could be a ballistic, um, a Gauss rifle. I'm here. All right. ECM extend. Oh yeah, ECM extended. It is fine. Right then, do that. Do that. Do that, do that. It's still calculating. There we go, finally. Affirmative. And. Right. Hit chances, people. 24 16. The Oscout is slightly better. Yep, only, only marginally, but it's still better. Everything missed. <laughs> I missed. Yeah, you did. Good to go. And yeah, we're gonna turn you on as well. We might as well go for it. Ah, apparently we need to jump because we're on a building. That gives us eight evasion, but that makes us stupendously hot. Well, 
Roger that. We'll go there. And... Ooh, fast cam bombs. I'm going to turn that off. And I'll turn that off because I've got no hit chance. We might as well fire the bombs. Yep, go for it. <laughs> Completely missed. It's the wrong end of the battlefield. Oh well, never mind. And yeah, let's just go for the most evasion we can generate. Go there. Ooh, that's a 48% hit chance. I think I'll go for it. We might as well. Copy that. We hit reasonably well. If we can destabilize someone, that's probably going to be the best thing going for us. The only thing going for us, really. Was there, there was only two allies, wasn't there? There was. I mean, at little... Admittedly, one of those is an uh, urban mech with a thumper, so all in all, he counts as useful because he can actually do something. Alright. Hurry up, people. He didn't actually fire, which is weird, but so be it. Whoops. You are firing and missing, thankfully. I mean, lambs are going to be fairly good in the sense that we're not going to take that much damage. Stand in by. So that in itself is going to be very helpful. Fire evasion. Go there. I'm there. And fire. Fire an owl weapon. Missed everything. Failed. Okay, gunnery still sucks though, so we can be evasive, but we can't hit anything. Who is next? Turn 14. Oh, it's the guy that we just missed everything on. Sounds good. What's the flank? Missed. That could have been worse. Could have been worse. You admit, but they I'm missed. You. Um, I mean, we have an SRM two. We have eight evasion. Hmm. I'm thinking we actually go over here and get some kind of hit chance on these two. 24, 24, so machine guns, y'all. Yeah. Okay. Well, that one there must be a PPC then, but then. No, it can't be. I have no idea what it is, but we don't like it. Because it's got machine guns, it might actually hit us. Ooh, he made him unsteady. I don't think we got hit. Because we're not on the ground. Looks good. Enemy turn. 10 13. This guy doesn't go through any mines. Oh, they didn't go. He went through one mine. <gasps> we took some damage. Losing armor. It is not good. And we're just going to jump. Can we jump into his behind? We can, only for three evasion. But I'm gonna go for it. Because medium laser has a good chance to hit. Sadly, you're not clancing, so you have a minimum range. And might as well drop the bombs. Acknowledged. Yeah, we did something. We did a thing. Uh, structure exposed as well, so something hits. Alright, this is not quite the last go for... It's the last enemy for the turn, but it's not the last thing to go this turn. Yeah, I'm going to get the Martin out. 
It's not um, not worth risking Waiting losing it. Yeah, you literally just moved. So I'm gonna turn that on. And I mean, I'm... okay, you're calculating. We'll finish calculating because I've already worked out where I'm going. Uh, yeah, that's very Four good hit chance. So we can gang up on this guy. Yeah, there, let's go. We broke things. We broke some jump jets. Critical hit, Commander. Good, good. And oh, you've got some missiles. Some Inferno missiles. Hydra? Would it be Hydra? I don't think it would be, but it may well be. Right, we're gonna get Ready for orders. you. Out of the way. Actually, no. I can uh, get you over here and help out. And do something useful. We broke something. Ah, oh, we broke the beagle. That's good, though. Can't see so well. But yeah, he's not looking as good. Not looking as healthy. I kind of want to fire. The arrow at these guys because they're close together. Gotcha. And fire. I don't know if it, I'm out of short range missile. I don't know if it did anything. Useful that is. Oh, he didn't fire. He also hasn't fallen over, which is very useful. We have mortars. That is Inferno's. Yeah, it's mortar six that he's firing, so it's just Inferno mortars. Where is Mr. Irby? There he is. Does he anything, have anything special to keep him upright? No. Standing by. Interesting. If I go there. Also, where did the mine where did the mines go from last turn that we fired? I'm pretty sure I fired them. Nope, don't know. Can't see them. Might as well Got it. go there. And I turn that off, it doesn't actually generate any heat, but I'll save those for now. Engaging with target. We did some damage, he is stressed. Generating a lot of heat, Commander. And what is next? Not him, thankfully, so we still get to follow up on him and try and take him out. Miss Lynx is going through the flames. Good to go. Potentially could just stand and shoot. I think I will. Got it. Boom. Yes. That's a kill. That is a kill. That's the first kill. 20%. Yes, because it's a star. They drop in a star and technically... Well, we kind of did. We got five things on the board. Just one's a crappy thing on the board, but the Mar 10 will serve its purpose and I'll probably just sell it before long. Once I've got a another thing that I can put on the board, possibly. I can't believe the proto mech I got was completely garbage, but hey, it is what it is. Actually... Actually, nothing. Actually, I killed Minimal this guy and I can't even remember that from 30 seconds ago. Yes. yes Commander. Okay, you know what? We're going to try and find a good target. I 
think they all have... I mean, that's pretty good. Location Oops. confirmed. That barn. That's actually a very good hit chance. Good. Let's go with it. We almost broke him. We did some damage. More flames. Yay. Commander. And I mean no one fired at this guy, which is impressive. Oh, I Okay. Can't do much with you. Hmm. Thinking this might be the better Confirmed. one to go for. I was trying to get him out of the fight, but then I decided not to. So, whoopsie. You know what? We're going to go offensive push just to lower his initiative down so we can try and take him out this turn. I will go with set a torso. I didn't do anything except lower his initiative by six. So, yay. All right. This guy, the Mislinks. It's Ultra 2 clan, but it seems to be broken. I mean, an Ultra 2 wouldn't be too bad to begin with, especially a clan one. Oh, I think I might be the first bit of damage I've taken on any mech. Would you look at that? Turn 14 is this guy who's kind of just just gone. He's out of here. He misses wildly. Hit another building. We haven't hit a building yet, I'd like to point out. None of the war crimes have been our fault yet. All right. I'm gonna go there. Not the greatest hit chance in the world, but ten four. I mean, we broke some things. That hit something good. It did hit something good. The clan double heat sink was broken. He doesn't seem to be firing anymore. Annoyingly, my friend is not being very friendly. He's not helping us. Okay. You can see daylight through my armor. Yeah. Why do I seemingly have no evasion? This might be why they were hitting me so well. Commander? I don't seem to have any evasion. Oh, I hit the wrong guy earlier. I hit you. It was you that I should have been hitting. Damn it! Oopsie. Okay. I can't get behind these guys, annoyingly. It says I can hit them. I'm going to go with going Moving there. Fair. Firing. Tell me what to shoot. Gyro is crit. Critical hit, Commander. Not the worst thing in the world. Awesome. And some heat for them. Order. Ah, got some high explosive bombs. Affirmative. Well. It's not truly going to help right now, but everything I've got. more damage. I'm out of SRM. You'd be stressed. That's good. Waiting for orders. And it says I can fire. Hmm. 
Hmm. We'll go with it and see what happens. The heat is frying my internal. Okay, I'm not going to fire that. And I'm going to go with just a 40%. Target lock on enemy's rear. Hit chance, miss. Sadly, target hot for nothing. Heat damage. Our damage. risk shut down for nothing. And yeah, we kind of screwed that up because we could have taken that one out if we were better positioned. Okay, yeah, we're taking a bit of damage now. Damage minimal. Orders. But I think we still got this in the bag. On my way. Putting one in the back. He's panicked. That's a plus two, two hits. Sadly, he goes next, so we don't get to follow up on that panic status just yet. And you're running away, that's fine. Yeah, here he goes. In fact, all of them get to go. Most of them get to go before we get to go. Hmm. So be it. Was that all of them? I think it was. There's one left. Waiting for orders. All right. Let's work out. Your back is open. And you, I can't see. And you. What's up, boss? So one medium laser is not going to help tremendously there. So we go after you. Yeah, we're going to go here. Actually, there's an SRM six as well, but I've completely didn't notice that. Anyway, let's just act as if that was entirely planned. Waiting for orders. Go there and hopefully kill. All right. Not quite. Not quite at all. Uh, this is the last one, which is the Oscout, which only had one thing. So I'm not too worried about that. Enemy flanking. Yeah, we're good. Ready for orders. Can I get behind you? I should be able to. On my way. And I'm starting to cook. Yeah, we're getting a bit toasty. See if we can drop a mine somewhere. I'm out of SRM. Okay. I'm... Watch my heat level. It's not showing, but that doesn't mean go. they're not there. It's just that we can't see them. Yeah, I'm going like so. Probably should protect my arm a bit better, but I'm being reckless. Here it comes. Hey, we broke a leg. Oh, hit. oh, yeah, it's going to be lots of Clan XL engines, as long as we don't blow them all up. Not that that's going to help us, because we can't put them into the mechs that we currently have, but it will give us lots of money. Good to go. Good, good, good. And... Receiving you. That's a few just standard shoots. You're not going to be getting it any warmer, so we're going to go with that. Locking on target. 
Engine destroyed. So yeah, there's one excellent engine Taking gone. Damage. He's not going to fire again, is he? I mean, he's helped out. He did some early damage, shaving off some armor and all that. But it would have been nice to, for him to carry on. But hey. We got three left, and uh, one's relatively wounded. I think we just need to gang up a bit better and hit the rear of them a bit better, and we'll be good. In fact, we may be able to take this guy out this turn. Get any? Not really. Moving out. I'm guessing once we get line of sight, doesn't get any better. Okay, it's fine. Target him for an alpha strike. We did some damage and we stressed him out, but that's it basically. And there's lots of flames and fire around the whole park. At least I get to go turn twelve as well. Hopefully. Maybe not. Ah, jumping. That kind of sucks, actually. Them jumping kind of is annoying, but so be it. Standing by. And I want to get a little bit closer. Forty-two is the best we're getting, so that's what we'll take. Probably should turn that on, shouldn't I? I don't. Don't think they have any missiles. Roger. Do they have any missiles? I can't remember. I don't think they do. It's all been lasers, has it not? And right, Stinger's running. He's barely been touched, that Stinger, annoyingly. And then the Oscouts. Scouts. The Oscouts Scouts are probably the toughest order. target they've got, but has no weapon system, basically. Uh, which leg? Yeah, if I hit this side. Let's get closer for the. the yep. On the move. Much better hit chance. Target quiet. Can I take out the leg? I do take out the leg, so he's now on the ground. Reporting. This is helpful. Progress is made. And he didn't lose a... Well, I did lose a wound. I was going to say, he didn't lose a wound, but then it popped up at the end. Doesn't mean we can't shoot him in the back anymore, but we don't need to worry about that anymore, because we can just... Well, shoot through like so. No boom, sadly. No boom at all. Alright, someone further back can claim him. That's above 6% hit chance. That's actually very good indeed. Stop the angle. Taking the shot. I'll take that. Hope we can salvage that. We just killed him in one go. I'm here. Thing. You're just going to stand and shoot because the final one is the Oscout, is it not? I copy. Okay, we didn't do anything. Anything significant, anyway. Commander? And yeah, I think you're just going to stand and shoot. That's why I had no evasion earlier because I just stood and shoot shots. Now it all makes sense. Go boom. It did go boom. Critical hit, Commander. But it wasn't running. Oh no, it's running a clan exile engine, isn't it? I'm yes, it's you. running a clan exile engine, so I need to take down both side torsos. Now it all makes sense. 
and yeah, Sally will blow him up. Roger. I think there's going to be enough loot on the table already, so we don't need to worry about saving kill. some loot here. Plus, kind of want to get the mission done with now. So this Oscout is the final target. He doesn't. How big is an Oscout? I thought it was a forty tonner. It must not be a forty tonner. He also seems to be rather unsteady. Showing minor damage. No, he's not. Orders. Okay, we'll go. Wow, seven point seven percent chance. Well, we might as well try and get the better hit chance with the medium laser since the LRMs are so terrible. Okay, you know what? We're just going to brace and try and cool down. Over the red line, heat damage. Oh, some inferno damage. Light damage coming. Is nothing basically. It's not really doing anything because they don't have enough weapons to fire to make it worthwhile. I copy. I don't know what I'm going to do. It's offensive push. I don't care about hitting so much. I just want his initiative low enough that everyone gets to shoot him in the butts. That possibly can. Okay, I'm going to go there. Copy that. Uh, it's not quite unsteady. Yes, Commander. Order acknowledged. And... Affirmative. Boom. Done. Didn't need to get him unsteady in the end. Looks Just like I'm a new target. Yeah, let's go Mission home. Successful. Right, so we've got a lot of clan tech on the board. Have, yeah, we've got well, we've got some clan tech. I think there's some ER medium lasers, which will be worth picking up. And other than that, we didn't really take any. I think two or three of our mechs took damage, and that's it. Uh, mech parts don't bother me. The Oscout is a 35 tonner, so it's still a light mech. Okay, I wasn't far off my. Assumption that's an ERPPC clan. So there was a ERP, no, sorry, a 75 damage weapon on there. I wasn't seeing things. I mean, it's good for later on, but it, we ain't got six tons spare for anyone, any of our mechs at the moment. We have a clan active probe. Clan cockpit, clan endo steel. Ooh, what happened to the Ultra 2? I'm guessing it didn't survive. No. Um, clan Cockpits. It's just plus one gunnery. Well, we might as well take it, because I don't really see much else. I mean, Ferro Fibers and Endo Steel. You know what? No, we're just going to... Take that because we're getting a lot of it anyway. We're getting incubus, Oscar, Oscar, stinger, 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 stinger. Actually, we're only one stinger part away from building a stinger, which is not too bad. And we get basic armor. Now we'll get rid of that. Uh, Star League co cockpit, uh, normal endo steel, Star League fire control system, jump jets. I need six. I don't need 12 of them, sorry. So we'll take that. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed the first look of this new update, fresh starts. And the lambs are fun. But I have a feeling I want to get some mechs that kind of that allow us to put more weapon systems on them. So that's what we're going to be looking forward to. But anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I shall see you next time for some more mech destruction.